Now Ed Sanders will take us aboard the Twin Cities Model Railroad. We have visitors from every state and from several foreign countries have come to visit us over the past several years. I'm talking now with Bob Niederkorn. And Bob, can you tell us about uh, this railroad? It's uh, world famous, I understand? Yes, it is. Uh, the Twin City Model Railroad Museum represents what railroading would have been in the Twin City area of about the 1940s and 50s. Uh, diesel locomotives were just coming into use. Steam was still prevalent on a lot of the lines. Uh, the layout here represents the Twin City area with a lot of buildings and structures, bridges, uh, the river, uh, the Minneapolis Great Northern Depot before it was torn down. Uh, we have the old powerhouse that uh, provided electrical power for the streetcar lines back up until 1954. And uh, quite a bit of different uh, scenic views of parts of town. Uh, the different buildings over in Minneapolis represent the flour milling area the warehouses. Uh, the far side we have a backdrop that represents the Mississippi River Valley down around uh, Wabasha, Winona. So you will see the tracks running along the river for a considerable distance. We have a paddle wheel steamboat over there. Uh, we have a little village at the far end that represents what would have been a small town close to the Twin Cities, kind of a suburb just north of the Twin Cities. Now, who built all this? This has all been put together by volunteer members over a period of 24 years here. The club actually started in 1939 over in the old St. Paul Union Depot, and we moved here in the early 1980s. So all of the buildings here are scratch-built by volunteers. Now, what does that mean, scratch bill? Well, where you don't use a kit that you buy in a hobby shop because each of the buildings here is quite unique. It represents an actual building that used to be or still does stand in the Twin City area. Uh, the different flour mills uh, and grain elevators are reproduced here, as is the Great Northern Depot. Uh, the uh, post office complex in Minneapolis, some of the buildings around neighborhoods in St. Paul, the different railroad yards with the roundhouse, the turntable, uh, and the rail yards. So all of this has been scratch built and put together by our members. How many members do you have? We have about 120 members, and I would say more than half of them are available to come in frequently uh, to help with uh, running the museum, uh, doing maintenance on the track and the equipment, and uh, just kind of constantly upgrading everything that we have here. Now, for those uh, who are watching who might know something about model railroads, what is the gauge of this railroad? Okay, the gauge uh, is called O scale or O gauge, that is, a quarter of an inch equals one foot. In other words, if you had a 40-foot box car, it would be 10 inches long. And this is a; these are all; these models are all scale reproductions of actual railroad uh, equipment that existed at one time or another. Now, uh, why are you involved? What is your interest? Well, I've been around a long time. I started uh, an interest in railroading when I was back in grade school, I guess. And over the years, I've uh, built and rebuilt a number of different layouts in my home. Uh, I live in a condo now, so this becomes kind of my club to come down and work. And uh, I have some equipment that I bring occasionally to run, and uh, most of our members do.